Oh, how's he doing all that? That's crazy. Uh, I don't know how to say this, man, but man, I was in Miami, bro, and um, I was getting the burger and some and some shoes, and uh, I heard a loud noise, and I just saw these eight foot something, bro. I I, I don't know what it was, but man. Then the arms start coming out, bro, and the eyes was turning red, bro. I, I just ran, bro. Like, I don't even want to come to the internet with this shit, man, but I was there, bro, and um, it's true, bro. I saw something, bro, and it was like eight feet or ten feet. Uh, the eyes was glowing. Uh, man, I just got to tell this because I, I see a lot of fake shit out there, bro, but I was there, bro, and it's real. Uh, I don't know how to say this, man, but, man, I was in Miami, bro, and um, I was getting the burger and some and some shoes, and, uh, yeah, things is definitely real, man. Starting to, like, these witnesses have started making me believe that something definitely went down that night. The man who went viral overnight for attacking a judge recently just had another court date with the same exact judge and they were not taking any chances this time. They had him locked up like a straight up dog, face muzzle and everything. For anyone that hasn't heard the story, this man went straight up viral for attacking a judge while she was in the middle of giving him a sentence. Roll the clip. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing for TikTok purposes, but she was in the middle of giving him a sentence and he did not like what she had to say, so he took matters into his own hands. Here it is. Watch this, he comes flying through the air like a hawk. Here he comes, oh my God. But after that, his next court hearing, surprisingly he got the same judge. And online people thought that she wasn't giving him additional charges, but it actually turns out that she's really a whole nother Sorry judge. His original sentence was only four years. I said only that that's a small amount of time, but there was a strong possibility he could have got out in 19 months and had possibility of parole. But after he did that, he's looking at an additional 14 charges or more, which makes sense. I mean, you're attacking a judge. What did you expect? And let's just say that possibility of parole is long gone. He's not, he'll be lucky to even see fresh air again. But let me know what you think about this. And don't forget to dominate the plus button right here or else you're going to end up getting swan dived by this. And the reason why you don't have open warfare because they know there's something in you that they don't want to wake up. Mm. <laughs> and they got to keep this shit asleep. So they can't, they conspire against you on another level. Come on. In the Gopal Chris Krishna's book, Kundalini for a New Age, it says there's devices in the body that will come online if it's threatened for extinction. So they know they got a tiptoe around you, especially this Kundalini energy inside of you. They got a tiptoe around your ass. Get your fucking hands up! Hey! I'll say get your fucking hands up! Get your hands up, boy! Answer that one. To your knowledge, were you ever accused of having sex? 
that's an instruction not to answer on that one. This is as good a copy of the document as I have. Yo, he kind of looked like, like, upset that he hearing us, you know? It's almost like he know he didn't do it. And he's smiling like, I can believe this, like, y'all really think I did that? This is interesting, though. I'm available to me at this time. Let me ask you this. Do you recognize the uh, handwriting on these two sheets? Yes. Do you know whose handwriting it is? It's mine. Do you know what these documents are? Yeah. What is this? Um, crazy stories that people have uh, created. Things I wanted to set straight in an interview. Do you know with whom this interview was? The next, I think it could have been Diane Sawyer, whatever the interview was that I wanted to do. I wanted to set the record straight, that if people hear a lie long enough, believe it. People have lied on me. I'm a black American and I'm proud of it. And I'm honored of it. The bleach skin rumor, which is a rumor I don't bleach my skin. They, they once said I wanted a white kid to play me as a child, which was a rumor. Uh, inauguration rumor, saying I didn't want to do President Clinton's inauguration. I'm not gay. unless you have spoken to them one-on-one, -on -one, which, which is true. Because uh, what you hear is a lie, uh, untrue. I can't make out this part yet. It is illegible in portions, that's true. And Jesus said to love the children and be like the children. Be youthful and be innocent and be pure and honorable. He was talking to his apostles. And they were fighting over who's the greatest among themselves. And he said, whoever humbled yourself like this child is the greatest among me. And he always surrounded himself like with children. And that's how I was raised, to believe and to be like that and to imitate that. So I don't know what you're trying to make up. To your knowledge, Mr. Jackson. Um... It's almost like they're trying to put a narrative over him. Like he, to, you know, to destroy his image. That's what was going on. That's what I felt like that was going on right there. That was trying to destroy his image that he had built. Right. So, so others can look at him differently. That's what was going on. If Michael Jackson hadn't really died, then who had taken his place in death and who was buried? Do you know the story of Dimitri, who was supposedly buried in place of Michael Jackson? According to the story, Dimitri, of Romanian origin, was made to look exactly like Michael after three years of plastic surgery and training. Thus, he became Michael's number one double. But Dimitri was diagnosed with a terminal illness at the age of 47, nearing the end of his life. Jackson took care of him, ensuring his final days were as comfortable as possible. At the exact time Jackson was supposedly planning a fake death, Dimitri's illness gave Jackson an idea. Allegedly, Jackson offered Dimitri's family a large sum of money for Dimitri to be buried in his place. For Dimitri, who was already in the final stages of his life, this meant leaving a significant inheritance for his family. And the offer was accepted by Dimitri. His body was taken to the hospital on June 25th, followed by the issuance of a death certificate. Paramedics who arrived at Michael Jackson's mansion to save his life did not recognize the deceased as Jackson, instead seeing a late-stage cancer patient. But is this story true? To find out, you can visit our bio and watch the full video. If Michael Jackson... If you eat eggs every day, here's what will happen. We are all probably going to die in the next few years. Did you hear about this? There's this asteroid that is on a collision.
intercourse with Earth. Pull it up, Jamie. So uh, apparently this dude who used to work for the government for the NSS leaked this information about an asteroid that is on a collision course with Earth for the year 2027. And this guy is not just some random dude. Like, he really used to work for the NSS and really knows his shit. He has a PhD in astrophysics from Harvard. Jonathan Brown figured out all of this one day when he was at work. He overheard uh, one of his colleagues at the research center talking about something called Impact 27B. He asked his colleague what Impact 27B was, but they just said it was nothing important and that Jonathan didn't have to worry about it. But two weeks later, he found something crazy. So everyone had already gone home because it was really late during the night. Jonathan was still there because he was working on his research on black holes in the Andromeda galaxy. And get this, he walks past the dude's desk who was talking about Impact 27B and sees some folder on his desk called Upcoming Impact 27B Keep Secret from the Public. Since no one else was there, Jonathan looked through the folder and he found some crazy shit in there. What the document talks about is essentially that there is this massive asteroid that's like 11.7 miles across and that is going to hit earth in 2026 the asteroid has a 37 percent chance to hit earth this might be the end of life on earth as we know it we are all probably going to die in the next few years did you hear about this there's this asteroid that is on do you think uh r kelly be singing in jail like you know when you when you're talented yeah. like the same way nigga rap he and that bitch giving the boy a concert <laughs> So most likely he, he probably talk of the town in that bitch. He the it, nigga. He for okay. sure the nigga. But it's kind of weird because sex offenders don't get no respect, homie. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. They that's don't true, get true. no respect. So it's kind of different for him because his case is kind of weird. I don't give a fuck what you doing. Hey, put your motherfucking camera lights on. I'm not starting till I see a bunch of camera lights. Where's the fact? Hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but I actually work in a cloud factory. We create clouds and make rain for the city of Chicago. The government, the government doesn't want you to know this. We control the climate. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all all along. They have actual factories that make these clouds. A lot of the weather is controlled, and we can take it back and control it. Where the fact? Hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but I actually work in a cloud factory. We create clouds and make rain for the city of Chicago. Is there something inside of the Statue of Liberty? Let's do this reaction. Statue of Liberty seems to be getting weirder and weirder. People have found that there seems to be something huge lurking under its pedestal. The media, with curiosity, finally found a message from the statue's designer in 1889. But when faced with the initial interview by reporters, the designer said he knew nothing and that he had only modified it according to the request of the then U.S. president and had been modifying it for four years before finally completing it. The designer did not understand why the U.S. government wanted to constantly enlarge the base, because it seemed meaningless in terms of aesthetics and solidity. But not until 1949, with the exposure of a confidential document, did the whole thing. 
the truth began to slowly emerge. Uh -oh. A strange code name under a confusing text, vaguely written to provide an entrance for nutrients, install an engine, and achieve the final departure. Nutrients. Then there was a leaked design of the interior of the statue, and from it, people found some terrifying things. First, a huge engine was installed at the bottom of the base. Then the statue's feet were inexplicably fitted with a row of strange pulleys, followed by a narrow entrance and a huge staircase that did not fit in. However, in the middle of this huge room was a strange drain. And finally, on the left side of the engine was a huge waste storage room. Time came to the summer of 1954, when thousands of people complained to the government that Ellis Island was emitting a nauseating stench. And one woman named Eleanor's remarks were even more exaggerated, saying that Ellis Island was terrible. The whole place was filled with a slaughterhouse-like smell. Dead animal carcasses were everywhere. Once, she even saw officials lining up to take a group of people into the statue at night. Then they would lock the door and leave, and the next morning it was as if nothing had happened except that the smell was more obvious. In August 1985, people first photographed the statue undergoing strange changes. The statue began to slowly move to the right, and something strange seemed to appear in the base. Finally, after an investigation by the local government, they claimed that there was once a mass grave there, and mm. said that if your family... If you disappeared on the island between 1949 and 1954, you will receive a government compensation. This is a strange story. Could it have been a place to where they did human sacrificing? Maybe so. Comment below what you think. Interesting. Is there something inside of the statue? Something very interesting uh, with that story right there, man. What if, though? What if there's something is really going down in this Statue of Liberty? That's strange, man. That's interesting. That's real. To repel that damn devil. And so we got to stop this shit. We got to deal with this beast. We got to look him in his eye and deal. And I don't give a fuck how much fear is in your heart. What this motherfucker going to do to us is a million times worse. The last clip I just skipped. Copyright. So I wanted to go ahead and play this one right here. Check it out. Anytime you see Red, just know something about to shake. I was just surprised to see him performing with his girls in all red. I never believed that him and Young Miami were in a relationship in the first place. To me, her video rap freaks looks like an advertisement. The Diddy took a jet to a private island on a date with Diddy. Sound like a freak off to me. Did you know Diddy had his own private island called Star Island? In the video before this, when I talked about J Lo, it's clear to me here she's on the island and she's dressed like a man. That's obvious to me from the cornrows and the belt buckle. That's a man's belt. So what is she really trying to say here? Diddy's and Ross, which they good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They 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 gay. Who? Both Diddy and Ross and Callan. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy. Yeah. They all gay. Yeah. Gotcha. Go check out that video. He was one of the hired workers for Cassie and Diddy. He ended up getting arrested for a gun charge in Miami. He said he got a $5 million settlement from Diddy because he gave him her peace. He was living his best life, and one day he just had a psychotic break. He uh, entered into the Trump Hotel with a gun. He was talking about the Illuminati and MK Ultra Mind Control, and I'm saying all that to say this. You got to understand that that's what the music industry is. Your favorite artists are witches. They use subliminal messages and thought casting to control the masses. You got to be extremely careful when you're looking at all these videos over and over and connecting dots because that's exactly what the game is. It'll put you in a state of hypnosis. Take a look at that earring she's wearing. You can't tell me in this video he wasn't trying to get at her. He might have been trying to intimidate her. She's riding a black horse like one of the horses of the apocalypse. And we know that horse represents famine. And you know, they say this lawsuit or these litigations have been going on long before we found out about it. Seems like he might have tried to call her bluff. We don't know exactly how much money she got, but looks like she got a pretty hefty chunk. Now watch here as that black horse turns into the pale horse. And we know that horse represents death. And also watch Diddy, how that feather is on his ear also. Who knows what kind of information he's holding over Cassie's head? Jonathan Odie 
The male sex worker said he had a tape, so I know Puffy's got plenty of. The name of Diddy's song is Closer to God, which the lyrics don't say a whole lot. It just says, I feel closer to God when I'm with you. Before those lyrics popped up, lyrics from Nine Inch Nails came up. And it sounds a whole lot like what she might have went through. Just like an animal, you let me violate you, desecrate you. That's why I feel like it's a subliminal diss. Anytime you see red, just know <laughs> something about the shape. I was it's crazy how they even go that far to even making their videos like that. You know, it's strange. It's like, what? why do y'all gotta make the videos so, like, demonic? You know? They go to the stream to make sure their videos is, like, you know, giving, like, this weird look, you know? Interesting. Disney and Hollywood in general wants you to be comfortable with selling your soul for fame and riches. That's why they're always showing us the genie. And notice how he's blue in color. We talked about how blue represents the devil. In the Middle East, they're known as jinns. Legend has it that the blue represent older, more intelligent jinns who were in servitude to humans. That's what the pierced ear represents. Even in the Bible, pierced ears represent slaves. One ear pierced meant that you were a a slave for a period of time. Both ears being pierced meant that you wanted to remain a slave and was loyal to your master. In the last couple videos, we talked about the ritual robe and we also talked about the Marine Kingdom. In this movie with Idris Elba, 3,000 Years of Longing, this lady has an encounter with a djinn. It's told as a love story because that's what he is, a spirit spouse which we also talked about. Again, spirit spouses are a part of the Marine Kingdom. And as a matter of fact, when he first came out of the bottle, he had snake or reptilian like skin. She remembered when she was a child, she had an imaginary friend that would comfort her when she was alone or afraid. But that's what these spirits are born out of. Rejection, loneliness, and fear. She said one day he just went away. And the djinn replied, but here I am because he's a familiar spirit meaning he's in the family, a generational curse. He begins to tell her stories of all the times he's been trapped in the bottle. One of those stories was the Queen of Sheba and Solomon. He called her cousin because, again, he's a familiar spirit. I would come in and out of her sleeping chamber. Never have I wanted a creature so. She found the bottle at an antique shop and she asked the owner, how would she know that it's authentic? He said that the only way you would know is if you looked under a microscope to see the blood from the glass blower's lawn. When she got home, the first thing she did was use her toothbrush to open the bottle. And nine times out of ten, anytime you brush your teeth, you're going to get some blood. These spirits operate through blood. Remember in the Bible, when Elijah went against the prophets of Baal to conjure him up, they cut themselves. Of course, they told the story backwards because that's what Hollywood does, perverts the truth. But when Solomon came to Sheba, the first thing he did was seduce her with music. But get this, he couldn't get the instrument to play until he broke one of the strings and pricked his finger and got blood on it. Occultists revered Solomon. In the Bible, what we know about him is that he was very wise, rich, and he had a lot of wives, which was his downfall. This was because they got him away from worshiping God and worshiping these demons, these idols. In the occult writing, The Lester Keys of Solomon, it is said that he had a ring or a sigil that was used to control demons, and he even used these demons to build the Temple of Solomon. The Bible says nothing of a star of David, but it does speak of a star of fan. That symbol is used in many religions today. As a matter of fact, the second one from the top, that hat is a fish head, a symbol of Dagon, the fish god. This is a picture of the sun, and we know sun worship was prevalent in Babylonian times. Many believe this is also where the image of the halo comes from. We know that the Hebrews worship God on the Sabbath, which was Saturday. The day of rest was changed to Sunday by Roman Emperor Constantine. The word means universal, which is probably why there's so many different symbols combined into one. Another thing these deities like is incense and smoke. Incense burning was very common in bell worship. Also smoking. Please check out these YouTube videos. 
Asherah was Baal's wife. That's where we get the stripper pole or the maypole from. Even in voodoo, you notice that they like to blow cigar smoke on the altar. Sometimes they'll even smoke them for the deities or leave them as offerings. Practitioners of voodoo burn a lot of candles. The luau or orishas are syncretized with Catholic saints. It is said that during slavery that they did this so they could worship freely. For example, Papa Legba is syncretized with St. Peter. That's why you see the figurines behind his can. But that's just a way of the enemy to form a one world religion. When the Bible says that we are not to pray to angels, so why are we praying to We believe the monsters who murder children should be put to death. We uh, seem to have quite a good agreement on that. These people murder children and they do it as slowly and viciously as possible. We will not allow these animals to terrorize our communities and my administration will not rest. Now we're stepping it up even to a higher level. This has never happened before. There's never been any move like this before. Much of it's already taken place, otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it. Human trafficking. Human trafficking. It's a big issue. It's a big deal. Dealing in children is a big deal. Children are probably the most harmed. They grab them, they put tape over their mouth, they tie their hands, and they take them to another country. We have things happening that you don't want to even know about. We have things happening that you don't want to even know about. You don't want to even know about. You don't want to even know about. And it's been that way for decades. We believe the monsters who murder children should be put to death. We, yes. Uh... If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, tw on. Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her, and she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over cable and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. That, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write do jokes. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? Can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write do jokes. He did four comedy Don't be fooled by these double agents. If who you are watching are giving you information that makes you go outside of yourself, they fake. Because the only thing you should be focusing on is you. Stop giving people free attention, man. Attention is energy. They literally be energy harvesting y'all on this app, bro, on all these apps. Real ones know you're supposed to be putting light on the solutions, not the problems. And if you feel like what I said was wrong, then maybe you a double agent. Protect your energy and go back to self. I say, don't be fooled by these double agents. If who you are watching. Every time Cat Williams do something, viral pandemonium, the world stopped. Now he went on an interview with Shannon Shaw, the world stopped. 10 million views in one day. That is a viral, dude. Kevin Hart is not doing that, bro. Not on no damn interview. <laughs> it's an interview, bro. 10 million. This this breaking the Breakfast Club, the Breakfast Club uh record. What what Birdman was that in the one day with the uh I'm pulling up on you, nigga. He's breaking all that, man, because it's Cat Williams. When Cat Williams show his face, you know truth is coming out. And he been, they talking about he, uh, he angry. Oh, he just angry. He been doing this since when he first came out, man. With the P. Diddy shit. He been saying that, man.
This way when I was fucking 16 This shit 14 years 15 14 15 years ago He been doing this Still doing it They about to Dog They coming after Cat Williams soon dog Because shit is going too viral He's too powerful He turned down deals bro Because they know his influence his the level of influence he have, what what they what they could get out of him is twenty times more than what they could get out of him. If you, if that makes sense to you, dog, they're going to come at them because they can't get him. Every time Cat Williams, do I remember this photo of Jennifer Lopez? Uh, it was a gym photo she took, and people realized when they zoomed in a little bit there was. A person seemed to be like a kid or maybe a man, who knows, in the door with their mouths covered and they look scared. Did we ever get an answer to that? Did everybody get an explanation? I just want to know. Um, because, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I remember this photo of Jennifer Lopez. Uh, it was a gym photo she took and people realized when they zoomed in a little bit, there was a person seemed to be like a kid or That's strange. So in numerology, the life life path one, three, five, nine, and the eleven are the most unpredictable numbers by nature. The number one wants to be seen. So when you look at people like Christian Rock or Sexy Red, which are both one life paths, you don't know what's coming next from these people. Then you have the five life path. The letter E is the fifth letter in the alphabet. So the five wants to experience and it also wants to experiment. When you put experience and experiment together, you become impossible to predict. So the nine is unpredictable because it literally has its head in the fucking clouds. Now, a lot of people will try to take this and claim it as something bad, but it's not. Imagination and love is where the nine thrives. So in numerology, the life- five. What's yours? Let me know in the comments, man. Lil Nas X is making an effort to turn the fact that he is a satanic Muppet into a marketing scheme. Recently, he made a series of TikToks stating, The industry tried to make me satanic, but I chose God. The irony is that the industry was completely successful at making him satanic. And that is how we remember him. Only the blind would believe this is a genuine effort to turn the tables for Mr. X. It is quite clear that he is still controlled by his overlords, and this is a mockery of the foolishness he has sold his fans. He recently received backlash for his new music video, which seems to have been planned. Anyone that is buying into this cheap marketing tactic is delusional and should seek help immediately. Lil Nas X is owned by his masters, and it will remain that way as long as he wants the attention of the spotlight. Do you think he can escape the tight grip the demonic overlords have on him? You be the judge. Let us know in the comments. Lil Nas X is making an effort the fact that he is a... This is the most evil serial killer of all time. That boy, man. He, he definitely... Them people for sure, boy. He, he all that. He don't even care about integrity and none of that. Sad. His name is Richard Ramirez, better known as the Night Stalker. He was known for this name for how he stalked and preyed on his victims. When he was a kid, his cousin taught him crazy ways to kill. Check this out. You got the sky, the sky mess, like a sky shadow. Check it out. Wow. Inner Earth, also called Agartha or Shambhala, is a very real place that is much more technologically and spiritually advanced than us. It is a subterranean paradise, but there is a lot of confusion and false information about it. Inner Earth is not even a place on planet Earth or the third dimension. It actually exists in the fourth dimension, in an artificial time continuum constructed by the Guardians, a future timeline in 5336 AD, which the Guardians call a frequency modulation zone. There are secret Guardian protected underground portals deep below the Earth's crust called the Aminti Stargates that can take you directly to the inner Earth future timeline. 
Large civilizations exist in these lands, mostly the Shambhali, Brahma, and Anu Melchizedek races, which many are the survivors of the different cataclysms of Atlantis, who were seeking shelter from the massive volcanic activity, earthquakes, and floods. Inner Earth is much nicer than here, but it is not perfect either. Inner Earth, also called Agartha or Shambhala. We gotta think about that. I think we got an inner, inner Earth. We got an inner Earth. But the planet is way bigger than what we probably think, too. So, and it's probably more places too beyond Antarctica. A lot of places, you know, we haven't even been to that we can't even explore. So, I'm definitely sure that. And plus, they got underground stuff. So, of course, they got like a, we have an inner earth, you know. But how did we get there? You know what I'm saying? How, how we get in there? That's my question. Uh, how do we get there? Let me know. The real reason why some people just are more vibrant and attractive. When you are working on yourself, you're working on your aura, you're working on your body, you're just giving yourself self-love, working on your vibrations, your aura and your frequency naturally rises. Mm. So because of your aura and your frequency naturally rising, people will naturally be attracted to you. It's almost like when people like smell blood or something. It's because your energy is just so attractive that it just catches people off guard. The real reason why some people just are. How many of uh, y'all drink coffee? Come on, man. Coffee. You could have got you some tea, herbalist tea, some herbs, make you some herbs, tea, fruits. You don't need no coffee, man. Come on. Get you a juicer, put some fruits in there, boom. There go your energy drink. Coffee is a drug. That's why people are so addicted to coffee. Do you see? So, yes, coffee is a drug. What you need to use is dandelion root or roasted dandelion root. It tastes just like coffee, even better than coffee. And it's going to be cleansing out your liver. It's going to be cleansing out your kidneys. It's going to be giving your blood iron. You see, so what's the point of drinking coffee? What does coffee actually do for you? Think about it. Is coffee doing anything for you? More than just keep, keep you awake? But that's it. And all that other processed sugar in the coffee is only burning out the lining of your pancreas. You're going to end up with diabetes and high blood sugar eventually if you keep doing this. See, you may be young right now. Or it's not doing anything to you right now, but that shit is going to catch up on you because there's one thing that I've learned is that you cannot cheat your body. Coffee is a drug. That's why oh. people are so addicted to coffee. Do you see? No, that is true. Coffee is a drug. Better yet, sugar is a drug right there itself. Sugar itself is a drug. <laughs> That's why you keep going back. Can't have one gummy bear. You gotta hide a whole bag. <laughs> pictures from man this is interesting it's interesting how they even make these statues like this you know he's building this <sighs> like look how those buildings are built so strategic it's insane. Giants is definitely real, my people. Giants is definitely real. For sure. Turn on man. <laughs> Niggas gonna have there gonna come a time where computers gonna turn on man. <laughs> Niggas gonna have to fight robots. The higher ups gonna live under the land. Gas too high. They driving homemade go-karts. The 
end is coming, but we don't even see it. The knowledge is in the books, but we don't even read. Trying to save all the food and the water, you can save Babylon's about to fall. Famine is on the way. It ain't no time for no clubbing or no pill popping. Some satellites out of space, they tracking you and they still watching. Inflation across the whole country. Niggas rent one up $500 and they kids hungry. But you fools bragging with your new fashion. Everything man created will soon perish. It ain't no stopping me. My philosophy is prophecy. Poor people barely hit the lottery. How can we fix these problems? <laughs> Cause ain't no way an hour of my life is only worth $15. <laughs> the poor man getting poor. Cause the post spend their money with the rich man, nigga. The rich man getting richer. Cause the rich spend their money with their rich friends, nigga. They're gonna, they're gonna come and Remember that guy who jumped on that judge last week? Well, he's just appeared before a different judge and she went in in on him. He's now being hit with a massive 13 different charges, with just some including attempted murder of an older person, battery on a protected person, battery by a prisoner, battery of an officer, intimidating a public officer, extortion by threat, and the list goes on. He was originally only sentenced to 19 to 48 months, but now, according to Nevada law, the attempted murder charge alone is up to 40 years. Bro's never getting out. Remember that guy who jumped on that judge last week? That's tough. Uh, super tough, man. You, I'd rather really just take the 19 uh, months. That's not that bad. What's that like? Three years, two years? It's not that bad. Now, now how do the stuff like this happen? How is this happening? You know, that's interesting. Wow. Like how? Like, did, did the tree fall out the sky? Like, you know? did it come out the ground? How's that happen? It's interesting. I know trees grow over time, but like, dude, how long has that car been there? Like, how? How did that even happen? I broke through a car, like. That's, that's super interesting. Trees are definitely powerful then. If it's breaking through a car like that, wow. Man. Goes to show you that trees are definitely um tough. Ugh. You see, I don't know about y'all, but it been colder this year. Like it's like 10, 20 degrees lower where I'm at. From where it is last, what it was last year, it wasn't this cold. <laughs> you look across the world and it seems like the weather is tweaking everywhere. Everywhere is back, it's backwards. Shout out to the primal world. be that or what if climate change is really affect the the planet cleansing herself because the earth is alive you look at this pig right the world without bees the world without trees and animals the world without humans what if the earth going through a reset the beings on this planet been so toxic so parasitical they oil rings what else they got the trash the whole trash factory the waste system the the harvesting of the energy of the young lives the, like all the it's a low frequency on this realm globally that's why every day in our everyday lives it's hard for us to stay on a high vibration because we consistently getting pulled down the only time i really feel in my most power and nothing can bother me nothing i ain't getting irritated or jaded is when i'm in nature i'm gonna be honest and no phones is near me I'm not saying like oh caveman okay, nature man but you know what i'm trying to say it's like less things playing on my my brain right and 
what if this planet don't mind cleansing everybody out, wiping it? You might think you're cool now, but if these weather events happen in your city, you'll be talking about it. Just because you're not there, you ain't experiencing it. Then you got people sick with the snuffles, sniffing their nose and coughing. Like, it's people that's not even getting sick no more. That's not even on that frequency. So what I'm thinking about is like, what if this planet going through a process of wiping people out, wiping things out, and they don't really care about humans? Or it, or this organism, it don't, it don't mind resetting humans. So when we be thinking like all these, these stories they told us we gonna get saved and the chosen ones and all these people, planet don't really care about that. These elites don't care about that. It's like everybody just doing what they gotta do. Earth going to do what it's got to do, and these parasitical entities going to do what they got to do. Hey, I pick my side. I'm moving with nature. You feel me? But it's hard in this everyday, this everyday construct that got us cycled in to where we think this don't matter. But all these things we've seen across globally are signs that we need to pay attention to. Signs and symbols for a conscious mind. You see, I don't know about y'all. Easy, man, because that, that really could be happening here, you know what I'm saying? You got floods everywhere. It's crazy, man. You right, though. What if the planet don't care about none of that? Nah, you a chosen one. Nah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go too. That'd be messed up, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm with nature, man. So I feel like if you're with nature, you should be good, man. Make sure you prepare because ain't nobody coming to save you. We got we to gotta save ourselves. I can't wait for no saver. Got to save myself. This rapper sold his soul in jail and became wildly famous when he got out. Oh, the Here's next the next temptation become an overnight star when it looked like he was about to spend a lot of time in jail. Some say it had to do with this phone call he received while he was in jail and was given sacrifice ritual instructions. Now, this phone call lasted about five minutes, so I'm just going to give you the key parts and try and tell you what it meant. Yes, I can hear you. Shit. Thank you, goddess of crossroads, darkness, witchcraft, wisdom, uh, and the moon. Please come to me. Huh? Please come to me. Please. Please come to me. Please. Please. Hecate. Please come to me. Please, Hecate. Yeah. Please. Protect me and bring me freedom. Protect me and bring me freedom? Mm-hmm. Oh. Through this sacrifice. Bring me freedom through this. Through this sacrifice, okay? Um, treat me as if one of your own. Treat me as one of your own. I can bring forth my life. Yeah. Is that Except it? Except this sacrifice. This call is from the Miami-Dade Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. So it's F-O-M-O-T-E-I-T-B-E. Yeah, she like messed it up. It looks like a T. What more evidence do you need that these rappers are selling their soul? This rapper sold his soul in jail and became wildly famous when he got... All right. X man, he was a smart dude though, you know. What if he sold his soul for us, man, you know? So we could wake up with more people, he can have the audience, you know. Cause he did wake up a lot of people through his music, through his interviews. So if you go through his interviews, you, you would uh know that he was uh, tapped in. Like he dude was tapped in, man. He was he definitely was before it's time, man, for real. 20. 20. It's too young, man. He he was definitely not like them other rappers. I can definitely tell you like that, but you got to do something, man. In this matrix, you got to do something. You know what I'm saying? You can't just work a nine to five for the rest of your life. Who wants to do that? Who didn't come here to do that? Nah, bro. We're back at this, like, we had like a slavery world right now this is this is what it is oh hey man i don't really i can't really say nothing about that though that's that's his that's his soul that's, uh, that's him it honestly blows my mind how everyone is just now talking about this 
watch this video of Kevon Gates and pay very close attention to exactly what he has to say. Go to see my as soon as I go back to my list. Oh, really? Not the right. I'm just blood and right. It's another, like, I forgot. It's another mineral that your body need. And it's like the sea moss and that make up the 105 minerals that your body need. I'm talking about it. Once you put that in your body, you ain't even got to eat. You can go all day. It's retarded. It's, it's going to have you like that. It got a salty, salty taste when you first get on it. But after that, man, it's going to have you just different. You're going to feel different. Your body ain't going to get sore. It's just going just, to gonna be able to go forever. It should make you just, uh, I don't know. This shit got you superhuman on you. Shit, man, we better rock. And when you combine sea moss with burdock root and elderberry, it contains every mineral in the human body, plus all these other amazing health benefits. And to buy some today, all I gotta do is click my profile and click the only link in my bio. I'm gonna click the button that says sea moss gel and buy some if fire merch while you're at it. And when you guys buy something, I really appreciate it. And if you have any loved ones that you truly care about and want to see them have the best health of their life, make sure to share them this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to die. Hit this one now, yeah. yeah he's like, I'm at the West Hall. We are literally driving to the central hall right now in the Tesla Good Tunnel. We literally just got in. I saw your photos that I'm going to laugh because you say, I just got here and we're leaving. We lived here five years and I've never been down here. <laughs> well, this has only been open since the January central? of 2021. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I'm yeah. like, how did uh, I miss that? The, uh, I know uh, that's what's Like all the custom around. builders. Hi, at least you what's the purpose for this Thank besides you. what we're doing right now? So, technically, we're just a transportation service for the convention center. Okay. Um, eventually, we will be a transportation service for the city um, to an extent. Because after SEMA last year, we did get approved for 30 more miles of tunnels to be put in. Resort World was our first expansion onto that. I do believe Encore is going to be our next. But eventually, when it's all said and done, we'll be going up and down the strip, down the Fremont Street. This tunnel. Uh, well, not this one specifically, oh, okay. but like more expansion. Okay. Um, a wow. few other off-trip locations, Allegiant Stadium, and even mm -hmm. up to the airport. Wow, that's dope. This reminds me of. Reminds me of Universal Studios. I wonder why. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> they, are they going to turn it into a train versus cars? So cool. No, not that I know of. Um, I do Is believe it will go? always be Teslas <laughs> down here. Um, the one you may be. Hit this one now, yeah. Yeah, tunnel. It's interesting. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Why, though? Already testing out Project Blue Beam. Watch this. What is that? Come on, the whole the thing. Floating in the ocean. I know what cargo ships look like. That's one right there. This one seems like it's further out behind it. It looks like a fucking city. Project Blue Beam. The leads are trying to see what they can get away with at this point. Like this shit. The elites are already. That's, that's interesting. That do like a whole city right there, though. That's, that's crazy. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and end it off right here. I'm um, sending peace, abundance, prosperity. And good health your way. Make sure you get your food in for today. You know, um, have an abundant day today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.